I published yesterday, I had a lot of y'all asking me, how do I know if my tie rod is bad? Um, or how can I tell aside from just like looking at it and having it be obviously destroyed or boot torn or something like that. And I couldn't show you on my car because of course my tie rod wasn't bad. Um, but first of all, you can tell by in the steering wheel, sometimes you can feel like a looseness, you can hear a clunking. Um, also, you can jack up the vehicle and feel the wheel for yourself. Now, if you put your hands at the three and nine o'clock position and you wiggle back and forth, can you see that motion where the wheel can just move back and forth slightly? That is a bad tie rod. Now, to further that, I mean, it most likely is a bad tie rod. <laughs> You'll obviously have to inspect it further. This up and down, which feels super tight. There's no clunking, no movement at all. This is normally ball joint, lower ball joint. And then if you do like sort of an, at an angle here, this can, this can help you tell if it's a wheel bearing or not. And yeah, there's definitely, yeah, you can see the play is definitely in the side to side. Now I pulled off the wheel and I inspected the outer tie rod and it looked fine. Um, so let me show you. Now I'm going to put my phone underneath and as I wiggle this, you'll be able to see the tie rod move and I'll show you how I can tell it's the inner tie rod in this case. All right, hopefully you can see this. And as I move this wheel back and forth, you can have someone else look for you or you can do like I'm doing and use your phone. But you can see how right here where the tie rod, oops, right here where the tie rod connects to the knuckle, it's, it's moving together there, right? They're not moving separately of one another. And you can see that the whole tie rod is moving all the way to that boot. So that just tells me that it is an inner but I'm of course gonna take off the wheel, remove that outer tie rod, and do what I showed you in my previous video for inspecting the inner tie rod. I know what you're thinking, and it's probably something like, yo fey, if there's play like that in the wheel, it could also be the rack, not just the inner tie rod. So that's why you wanna do that test that I showed you in that last video, which I'm going to include right here, right now. While I've got this guy out, I can also sort of like feel, I can sort of pull in and out on this and sort of move it around and see if I feel any um, unwanted motion on that inner tie rod. Now, what you don't want is like a ton of slop and looseness, which this actually doesn't have. It's pretty tight. If I like put it in a position, it kind of holds it into place. Um, and I don't feel any in and out movement at all. So this is just like a good test of that inner tie rod as well. But also another way to do a quick check is just the other side. And everything feels good.